So today I'm just going to do a short overview video on my DIY turbine engine that I've built over the last two years or so. It's, uh, it's based on a TO4B. It's an automotive turbocharger that's ideal, at least to me, for building DIY turbine engines because it doesn't have any kind of external wastegate or anything like that to worry about. It's got a simple V-band V band flange on the back for build for building uh to get an exhaust pipe going off of. For lubrication, I have a about a about a gallon, gallon and a half size oil tank here that I built out of four inch black PVC pipe. It's uh, cheap and easy to put together to create a tank. For the pressure, I have a quarter horsepower AC electric motor here that I have coupled to a Procon vein type oil pump that is uh, mostly used on carbonator systems off of uh, soda machines. It's got a built-in relief valve that I've set to about 50 PSI that provides a constant oil pressure to the to the engine despite the temperature changes in the oil. I have a for the ignition system. I have a system that I found online from another fellow turbine engine builder that's based on two automotive relays that uh, activate each other to provide a very fast and consistent spark to the spark plug that's uh, in the combustor down here that's a very reliable system. You just connect it to a 12 volt power source, flip the switch, and then you got spark until you get ignition. I have a uh, an Almiron E3XA11 system here that I have built to, uh, to read the RPM of the engine itself through a, a, a fiber optic system that I built for the inlet here. It's got a, a fiber optic receiver and a transmitter in there and it will take the signals it gets every time the, the compressor nut spins around and turn it into an electrical signal that I can uh, read with an AC multimeter and it'll give me the RPM of the engine itself so I keep it in a safe speed. For the throttle I'm a, I've always been into jet engines and all that, so I got a, uh, I built a handle here that kind of, kind of a uh, represents a jet engine throttle in my sense. So that way I can hook up the, I hook up the propane through this uh, air chuck down here, and then I use that to throttle the engine up and down. I'm uh, wor currently working on an afterburner system for it. The uh, fuel is going to be through that pressure pump right there. It's going to go into the into the exhaust pipe right there, and then I've started with a a flame holder and a spray nozzles that you can see through the exhaust pipe here. I've got a I've got a couple of gauges on the the panel so far. I've got a, a an EGT gauge off of a, a of a diesel truck you can see right there. I've got an oil pressure gauge right there to detect make sure I have oil pressure the whole time the engine is running. The uh, the third hole that's empty right there is going to be for a uh, a CDP or a compressor discharge pressure with the the pressure tap you can see right there. I just have not got the gauge for that yet. It's got a it's got an oil tank vent that comes out of the oil tank right there. That goes up to the the negative pressure space that's on the inlet of the turbo here. It'll draw any kind of fumes or burnt oil out of the uh, oil tank and into the combustor, so you don't see any kind of smoking or anything like that. It's a, it's a good running engine as is, I believe. I haven't had any problems with it yet. I'm going to make another video shortly on uh, of me actually doing a run on this engine. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. And uh, like, subscribe, and uh, share these videos. I'm just kind of doing a little video series on stuff I've been up to. And see if you guys like it. 